Two families torn apart. Tow truck driver Troy McGuire and his killer's family, Gregory Miller, both in the courtroom for his sentencing today. News Channel 8's Paul Mueller was there. Gregory Miller of Lakewood Ranch stood silently as a judge read his sentence. He has spent nearly a year behind bars after he hit and killed tow truck driver Troy McGuire of Ruskin in October of last year as he worked in the breakdown lane of I-75 South. McGuire would later die at the scene. I'm not upset with Mr. Miller. He can't break my son back. <laughs> but God knows. People should quit driving and drinking. In the courtroom Monday, McGuire's family reliving that horrifying night, knowing what could have been, but isn't. Getting to know his granddaughter, which the only way that I can do that now is to take him, her, to the gravesite. McGuire's death not only shook his family, but also the family of fellow tow truck drivers to the core. All of them now pleading with the public not to drink and drive and follow the law to move over and slow down. In my eyes, no matter what sentencing or pleas accept or given, it is not good enough or long enough because Mr. Miller is old enough to know right from wrong. Hillsborough County State Attorney Andrew Warren says the sentence is appropriate, but still they wanted more. He says the family was fine with it because at the end of the day, they understood the most important thing was to reduce the number of DUI deaths in Hillsborough County. We were able to reach a sentence that makes sure that the defendant's held accountable, serves a long prison time. In the end, did your client take full responsibility? Let me just state, in the beginning, my client took full responsibility. In the end, the judge sentencing Miller to eight years in prison, he'll have to serve at least half that time. His probation, seven years. And his license, his driver's license, permanently revoked. In Tampa, Paul Mueller, News Channel 8.